If you've ever felt that tech isn't made for you, you're probably not imagining it. Because the truth is, digital inequality doesn't just show up in isolation. It stacks on top of every other inequality we've already got. Class, race, education, geography, it just magnifies the gap. The more powerful the technology becomes, the more brutal the gap gets. But AI? AI can be a little bit different. Because if you have the capability to send an email, you have the capability to use generative AI. It's not like you need a computer science degree to ask a chatbot to help you write a letter to your landlord or to get it to translate legal jargon into something that you can actually understand. What you need to utilize AI tools more than anything is confidence. And here's the things that nobody seems to want to say out loud. If a system only works for the most privileged, it can't accommodate different levels of participation or deliver fair outcomes across society. It's not just flawed, it's entirely obsolete. So is AI a tool for the working class or a tool of its oppression? It depends on whether you get to build with it or you just get built over by it. The future is not going to wait for us to catch up. So the real question is and should be, who gets to shape it? Because if we're not building tools for justice, someone else is building tools for control.